We begin in North Africa, where divisions continue to split Egypt's political landscape. The Supreme Judiciary Council opted to suspend preparations for a scheduled conference after the upper house decided to discuss a new bill on the judicial authority with Egypt's Ashura Council. This, after 25 members signed a demand to discuss the bill, citing a failure to include modifications made by the new constitution. Esther Hakim has more details. The Justice Authority Law is the latest chapter of the struggle between judges and the ruling Muslim Brotherhood. The law proposed by the Islamists controlled Ishura Council has caused an uproar by the judges who threatened to strike in all courts if passed. The law has articles that will put 3,500 judges out of work. Who will replace them? The Muslim Brotherhood. They want to control everything. They don't want an independent judiciary. Anyway, the Constitution says the People's Assembly, not the Shaura Council, is the one that should discuss the law. Islamists say the law is intended to restructure the justice system as per the demands of many people, including judges themselves. No law will be passed without the consent of the judges. We see a lot of discrepancies in the current judiciary, and it's our duty to change it so that the citizen feels the justice system is serving him well. President Mohamed Morsi intervened to establish the Justice Conference, where judges would submit their drafts for the new law away from the Shura Council. But judges boycotted the president's conference after the Shura Council insisted on submitting its own draft to be ratified, challenging the president's promises. Meanwhile, the crisis continues. Experts say the way out of this crisis is that the law be written by the judges and ratified by the Shura Council, with consensus from both sides. Sidi Hakim for CCTV, Cairo.